This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Had the migraines been an issue with Tremont earlier and he just didn't cause him to miss a game or kind of what happened there? And we heard uh, Trevin hurt his knee. Could you fill us in on that or any other injuries? Maybe Mitchell and. Uh... Yeah, no, T-Mark uh, hasn't practiced, um, you know, didn't practice Monday or Tuesday. Obviously has a migraine. Um, you know, I, I'm not a doctor. He's, you know, he's got a migraine. So that's, that is what it is. And then, um, you know, with Brazil, his knees had soreness. Um, you know, since uh, since Monday's live practice, and I uh, just wasn't able to go in the second half. And obviously, you know, a Tremondre leading score, Trevin's one of your best players. What kind of impact did it have not having those guys? And then battle seemed like he was playing, you know, solid, and then he had to leave for, I don't know, eight or nine minutes or some kind of how the injuries impact you tonight. Well, I, I think injuries allow other people to step up and try to garner more minutes. And, and uh, so other guys got opportunities tonight. And, um, you know, I, I mean, every team goes through uh, injuries. Every team goes through uh, players in and out of the lineup. It, it allowed other people opportunity to play. And then you go back and you watch the film and try to dissect the players that got the extra minutes. And um, but, but I mean, we're not shooting the ball well. We're not defending well. Um you know, we turned the ball over to start the game way too much, got the turnovers um, a little bit under control, thought we moved the ball better tonight um, than we had with our 13 assists on the 17 made field goals. Um, but, I mean, just go up and down the two for nine, three for 10, you know, one for five, oh for five. Um, you know, got to make shots and certainly – um, you know, defending becomes a problem. We were we were up on the glass at one point, rebounding the ball, and and then you know the second half, the, the rebounding was uh, heavily you know tilted towards Ole Miss. And, and then I, I I know you're trying to push every button you possibly can, but uh, how you had I think you played twelve guys in the first half again, and I get why you're doing it, but how frustrating, disappointing, whatever adjective you want to use, is it that? Uh, that you can't find a core seven, eight guys like you usually have to, that you feel good about playing. Yeah. I mean, every, everybody's getting an opportunity. Um, you know, like I said, I mean, point guard play turnovers, shooters, um, you know, shooters are struggling shooting the ball uh, at the center spot. We had zero defensive rebounds. So there's, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of areas, it's not one particular player. It's not one particular position. It's across the board. We're getting outplayed uh, at every position right now. Was um, Debo, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Was, was Debo not playing the second half? Was that coach's decision or was he healthy? Yeah. Yep. Yep. He's healthy. Okay. I might have a couple more if time allows. I'll turn it back to Mike. Thanks. Daniel. This is going to be their last, you know, taste of SEC play, and this is kind of how it's going for them. Is that something that you've talked about, that, you know, trying to galvanize this team somehow, some way? I, I, I have no idea what he said. Say it again. You broke up. Yeah. Um, for a lot of these players, this is their veteran, you know, this is their last go amongst SEC play. Just is that something that you've used to try and galvanize the team at all or how to, you know, galvanize the team? I, I don't I don't I don't really understand the question. You mean because we have seniors? Yeah. Well, I mean that's up to them to, to I mean I mean No, we haven't talked about being a senior, being a junior, being a freshman. No, we have not discussed that. We talked about ways to try to beat our opposition. Punch. Yeah, Eric, quick follow up on Brazil. Uh is it the the same knee that he hurt last year and is that what kind of level of concern is there with that? Well, Hutch, I mean, I, again, I'm not a, I'm not a doctor, you know, and, and uh, therefore, you know, for me, uh, it's, it's right now it's soreness, you know what I mean? So I'm sure that, I mean, anytime there's soreness involved, I'm sure, you know, we, we don't have our team doctor with us. So, so you go back home and, and uh, you know, our trainer's really good. He's usually spot on with all the evaluations, um, you know, so, I mean, until I get further word, I mean, it's, it, it, it is what, um, you know, what Matt, our trainer, like I said, he's, he's been excellent uh, since he's been with us and, and, and he's, you know, right now calling it soreness and, um, 
you know, so rehab and things like that. And, and, and you let the doctor check it out as well. You mentioned the early turnovers. What do you think was behind that? Was it more of Ole Miss or was it things you were doing or what, what do you think caused that? Yeah, I mean, I thought Ole Miss came out super aggressive. They jumped passing lanes. They pre-rotated when they soft blitz the pick and roll. And we just didn't do a very good job, um, you know, being strong with the basketball. And and then I thought we made some adjustments and and we ended up taking care of the ball and, and, and it allowed us to get more shots on goal. But but then shots weren't falling. And then also, you, you've told us several times this year that this team practices really well. But can you put your finger on why that's not translating over into games? Well, right now, teams are just out playing as such. I mean, you can have great practices, but, um, you know, teams, you know, teams have size on us at certain positions. And, um, you know, I mean, I'll say it once and I'll say it a hundred times. I'd rather have a team play good in games and, and not practice well. Um, you know, and, and, um, you know, we've had some guys not practice well <laughs> over the last three years, but, but certainly really produced in a game. Final question, Bob. Yeah, Eric, do you have any, uh, idea of if Tremont might be available for Kentucky and you, you got to play those guys in three days and you'd probably you really don't know about Trev, maybe you don't know about Mark. I mean, how tough is that, you know, going to a game, especially like Kentucky when, you're just trying to find answers right now. I mean, Bob, it, yeah, I mean, I think, I, I mean, hopefully I've coached in enough places and, and uh, you know, understand that injuries are part of the game. And, and uh, like I said, uh, an injury allows another player to get an opportunity that maybe he thought he should have or wants to have. And, and so it's, it's got to be the next man up mentality. I don't know any other way, um, you know, to, uh, you know, to say that, I mean, injuries are, are part of what happens. And, you know, Justin Smith was injured uh, for a five-game stretch and other guys got an opportunity. We struggled when Justin was out. We struggled when Isaiah Joe was out. But we were able to win a big game against TCU and some guys stepped up when Isaiah uh, was out. That's that's part of it. Last year, uh, TB was out for an entire season. And, you know, um, you know, we had other guys – you know, get the minutes that TB would have played last year. And, um, you know, I mean, right now, I mean, we're a team that, you know, we, we lost four guys that have played in an NBA game this year. And, and uh, you know, right now that's, that's a lot to, to replace as we're starting to see this thing unfold before us. I mean, um, there's not a lot of teams in college basketball that had four players from one team go on to play in the NBA. And then you try to figure out what you can do um, and right now, obviously, we're struggling on both sides of the ball. And Daniel's question about, you know, our our seniors. I mean, you you know, you want senior leadership. You want uh, guys to uh, to embrace. Uh, but but we want all our guys. I mean, I want our freshmen excited. We want our seniors excited. We want everybody uh, excited. We don't have that many games left. Um, although we still have a lot left in conference play, and uh, we got to try to figure out a way to get better. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.